I was browsing the r slash Minecraft subreddit on Thursday morning before I started my work day when a post by the user Phase Jeff caught my eye. You might have seen it. The user had uploaded a video wherein they managed to connect ChatGPT to Minecraft. They were basically telling it to build things for them, like Joe Biden in a can of soda. Now, I've been watching the development of AI from the sidelines like everybody else. I haven't really messed with it. But, this post really caught my eye because it made me wonder about the capabilities and implications that implementing AI could have on the game. Lucky for me, the OP made their source code and fabric mod public. It's a quick install, and you just need an open AI key to get started. To get started, all you're going to need to do is do slash set key, then paste your open AI key afterwards and hit enter. You start by doing slash build, then whatever you want it to build. Now, let's say I want it to build a tree. Pretty simple. It might take something like 15 seconds to build this. There we go. There's our, there's our tree. And it, what's interesting is that it gives you an untextured item that it will use so you can uh, reference the build. What I mean by that is that if I'm holding this item, it's named after the prompt that I use, and I do slash edit, make it taller, it can use the past build as a reference so it kind of knows what's going on. Now, it certainly made it taller. Let's see if I can make it wider, more tree-like. Well, it uh, certainly did its best. Now, here's something that uh, is important to remember here, and that is that ChatGPT doesn't understand the game. It doesn't have the perspective that a player does inside Minecraft. In fact, I'm not really sure what perspective it does have, only the creator of the mod would know. I've experimented quite a bit with this uh, mod in the game. I've asked it to build all kinds of things. This is supposed to be an abstract Leonardo da Vinci. It's um, certainly abstract. This is meant to be a modern style house. This is meant to be a pan with eggs and bacon and it at some point, I thought, what if I used it to help me build a city? All these tall structures here are ChatGPT's attempts at building skyscrapers. This one is as well. It's uh, the prompt, I believe, was build a sprawling metropolis with lots of buildings with, uh, made of different blocks here. And this is what it gave me. Uh, leaves a little to be desired. It's quite an interesting process, but is it going to replace builders in Minecraft? No, not yet. So no need to be concerned for this. This is meant to be, I think it was a car. Yeah, maybe these are the wheels. It's up to interpretation. This is a fountain. It actually made the water fit in correctly, so I am proud of it. But it doesn't have a reference as to what Minecraft is supposed to be. And it doesn't have the perspective that a player has. Let's say I ask it to build a house. Pretty simple. Oh, okay. That took 30 seconds. Here's the house. And it's on fire. Quite interesting. It has a chest, it has a door, it has windows. Does it actually have it inside? That's what I want to know. If I go into spectator mode, it is quickly burning itself from the inside out. That's interesting. So if I hold the item here and I do edit, and I say extinguish the fire, will it do it? It needs to do it quicker, the house is going to be gone. It looks like it was not interested in extinguishing any fires today, but that's fine. Here, so if I ask it, build a skyscraper from lightly weathered cut copper blocks. There we go. That isn't... Uh, these aren't lightly weathered. Uh, they are cut and they are copper, but they're slabs. See, I don't really know what its uh, quote-unquote thought process is supposed to be. 
I'd say the most successful build that I've managed to do is I asked it to build a large skyscraper with big windows and podzol on the roof. Now, it did do just that, and I believe that this is a perfect square. And it put the podzol on top and everything. So it has some idea. So if I typed in build a statue of a duck with yellow and orange wool with a face upside down. Lots of details. If I try that, let's see what happens. Okay, that was pretty quick. Yellow and orange wool upside down? I don't know. If I ask it to build the letter L, build the letter L, will it be able to figure it out? Yeah, it built a letter L. It's upside down, but it says start. If I edited it and asked it to flip it upside down, would it do it? No, it just ignored me. That happens sometimes. It won't completely follow your prompts, even to the best of its own ability. Let's try that again. Flip it upside down. Didn't do anything. One of the more interesting builds, I asked it to build itself. This is what it thinks that itself would look like, I suppose. Your guess is as good as mine. It's has a room inside of here, too. The most realistic build that it's ever made is when I asked it to build a tall tree. This is certainly a tree, but that's as good as it gets, I think. Another thing is that it can't even really count blocks properly. I asked it to build 1,000 lightly weathered cut copper stair blocks and it placed 11,110 of them. Uh, it's not exactly accurate, but it did place a lot, so maybe it thought I was being hyperbolic. Let's try asking it to build something from real life. Build the Burj Khalifa. I hope I said that correctly. I know I spelled it correctly because I tried this before. Okay. Sometimes it won't even finish the build, which is kind of odd. At the end of the build, it should be giving you an item so you can use it as a reference, but it won't always do that. Sometimes it just gives up. Sometimes it never even tries to in the first place. What's up here? Uh-huh. So, that's interesting. Now, if I were to really guide it along, could I use it as a tool, at least to help me build? Let's try build a wall. Okay, here's our wall. Let's texture the wall. Let's try this. That did absolutely nothing. Let's try add texture. Yeah, I don't, th I think it just won't do it. Some things it just won't do. And it won't tell you because there's no way for it to respond to you. What if I asked it to build a dog? Okay, okay, here's something really strange that I've noticed is that a lot of the builds sometimes when you try to make something lifelike or alive, it'll just spam this, just leaves over them and they'll decay eventually. It's really quite strange, but this is our dog. Where are the eyes? Build a road with a car on it. Well, that can be interpreted as a road. The car remains to be seen. Put a car on it. Well, it did nothing. Build a car over it. Yeah, sometimes it just won't do it. One thing that I've noticed is that ChatGPT will not build controversial figures. It won't build historical German leaders. It won't build religious figures. My most favorite build so far is when I asked it to build Leonardo DiCaprio. This is what it thinks Leonardo DiCaprio looks like. I can see a face here, but you know, these aren't the blocks I would have used. I think if uh, someone asked me to build Leonardo DiCaprio, let's have it build a lake. 
Will it build a lake? Huh. Yeah. When I ask it to build a lake, it just puts water way up in the air. It did it over there as well. So ChatGPT doesn't work with entities or really anything besides blocks. If I asked it to summon a chicken, it wouldn't be able to do it. And it didn't even try to build a chicken. It's quite strange. If I said, kill the goat, as you can see, the goat is unharmed. It just did nothing. If I asked it to change the weather, make it rain, it wouldn't be able to do that either. It just put more water above me. So I guess it made it rain in a way. If I asked it to build a large skyscraper with big windows. All right. Um, it has a really interesting build process. As you can see, it built the structure, hollowed it out, then put more blocks inside. It looks like I tried to place some buttons. Another thing that it always does is it only places half a door. I don't know why it only places half the door. So, do we need to worry about AI making Minecraft builders completely irrelevant? I think not. As long as survival building exists, even if this got advanced to something like stable diffusion, building and experimentation would never die fully in the Minecraft community. Build a duck. Okay, here's my duck. Quite the attempt. I feel like I would do a little bit of a better job. Build me a friend. Build the YouTuber Monster83. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate. That's, uh, that's what it looked like. Why are these fences attaching to the glass, but they're not attaching to this block? How does it, how does it decide that? If you're interested in trying this for yourself, links are in the description. And I get full credit to the creator, Phase Jeff. Uh, see you later, guys.